Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Nikki. Today we're going to make that popular um, feta tomato pasta bake thing um, that's been all over TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, it's been everywhere. Um, but I'm going to make it a different way. So instead of using pasta, since I can't really eat pasta right now, um, or basically at all. Um, I am going to use, I've done this before using zucchini noodles, but I couldn't find any zucchini noodles. So I'm using butternut squash noodles. Okay. So basically what it is, it's a butternut squash and you use the spiralizer or you buy them already, um, spiralized, already noodled up. Um, and you can use those. Um, and I'm also going to use chicken. So in here is marinated chicken with, um, it's marinated in Italian dressing. Okay. So, and I have the tomatoes, feta, garlic, olive oil in, um, the dish in the oven cooking. Um, there's about three more minutes left. So for that, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees and you're going to want to leave, um, you're going to want to put your feta cheese, tomatoes, olive oil, and salt and pepper and garlic in um, a Pyrex container with a, a lid. You're going to want to put that in the oven for 40 minutes. Um, well, 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, I have it in there for 35 minutes right now. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like when I take it out of the oven. But right now we're going to cook up the chicken. Um, and we're going to do that. So we're going to wait till this gets hot because I just turned that on. I should have been turning it on while I was talking to you. Would have been a smarter move. But yeah, so we're going to wait for this to heat up and then we'll start cooking the chicken. So um, don't put all the marinade in here as well because then you just get a gloopy mess. So I'm going to just take the chicken out of here and put it in here. Put it in the pan to cook it. Okay, everybody in the pool. The water's warm. Trick you, it's a frying pan. Okay, I think that's oh, that one just went to the swan dive. Okay, so yeah, that was all the chicken in it. I'm gonna pour that marinade out. So you're just gonna want to cook this all up. Um, and then once this is cooked up, you're going to want to add in your noodles. You add those in last because if you, you are using the zucchini noodles, they get really soggy real quick. And all you really want to do is just heat them through. Okay. So we've got a little bit of a sizzle in the pan here. Oh, you can even see what I'm cooking. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. We've got 52 seconds left. Um, in our tomato bake, or in the feta cheese and tomato. I'm just going to cook this up. Of course, I've got it on high because I cook everything on high. That's how you get stuff done. In my kitchen, anyways. I don't burn anything, so that's good. But I cook everything on high. There's like maybe 10 little strips of chicken in here, which is enough. For, for one person, um, but I'm sure you could do this. You don't have to add the chicken. I just like the extra protein and I'm supposed to eat a lot of protein um, with the gastric bypass surgery. Like if you've had weight loss surgery, they want you to eat like a crap ton of protein in a day. So this adds to it. Oh, it's done. Okay, so this is gonna cook in there. So I'm going to grab my oven mitts. And I'm going to take it out of the oven, turn it off. Jesus, it's hot over here. It is hot in here. Okay, so there's that. Oh, God. It's a spicy meatball. All right, let's cook. Let's cook. Okay, so I'm going to take the lid off of this. All right, so this is what, oh, you guys can't even see. This is what it looked, oh, snap. We're gonna just do this here. So, in here, 
is see your feta, your cherry tomatoes, there's garlic in there, um, and there's salt and pepper in there as well. So we're just going to mash that up. Ooh, we're heating up. We're heating up, folks. We're heating up. All right, I'm going to turn this down. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my potato masher, and I'm going to mash the tomatoes and the feta cheese, um, kind of. Well, I'm not going to mash it, but I'm just going to mix it all in there. It's a little sloopy, but that's from the tomatoes. I used um, two containers of cherry tomatoes. You technically only need one, but I used two. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So now the chicken is cooked in there, so I'm going to throw in my noodles to heat them through. I like, ooh, we're going, we're going, I'm going wild. I'm Nikki the Wild Chef. Woo! All right. So we're just going to mix these through here. Mixy, mixy. Ooh, we're hopping out. No one wants to be in the pool. All right. Oh, jeez, but we stay in the pool, guys. I know she's spicy, but stay in the pool. All right. So, I'm going to put the cherry tomatoes and the feta cheese. You're supposed to mix it all in, like, the container that you have it in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw it all in this container in my frying pan. Oh my God, will you stop jumping ship? Lord love a duck. All right, so I'm gonna pour the tomatoes and feta cheese in here. Yeah, come on to the party. And we're just gonna I'm going to get another utensil here. I'll use this one. Oh no! Well, now you can really see in there. Alright, we're just going to mix this all together. Um, you could probably, you could chop up an onion and add an onion in there if you'd like. This is my version of this thing. You can make it any way you want to. That's cooking. Cooking you can, you have a recipe, you don't necessarily have to follow it completely. You can add your own stuff, you can do what you'd like with it. Remember, always remember, taste as you go. So you know if you add, you need to add um, a little bit more or, you know, something else. And always, always, always put a little bit in at a time and taste because when you put too much in, you can't take that spice back right so just make sure that that's what you do okay so she looks like she's pretty mixed and ready to mingle so I'm going to grab myself another fork and Jesus I'm gonna mer melt my face off here but we're gonna try this here maybe all right take you off Hi! Okay, so I'm going to grab some tomato, some noodle, oh not that big one because that's going to kill me, and some chicken. Oh that's a big one. I need a little piece of chicken. Oh that's a big one too. Ah, where's my small chicken? Okay, that's pretty small. Okay, and I'm going to try a bite for you guys. Oh my god, this is going to be so hot, it's going to burn my face. It's good. It's good. Um, 
So yummy. So good. The noodles um, still have a bite to them. Um, they didn't, you know, they didn't get all mushy, which is nice. Um, your cherry tomatoes are good. The garlic in there gives it a really good flavor. Um, you don't need very much salt because the feta cheese has al already a whole bunch of salt in it. Um, so you don't need a lot of that. But yeah, so again, to go over the recipe. So in a Pyrex dish, it was like, I think it was 2.4. Uh, two and a half quarts you're going to take 200 grams of feta cheese you're going to put that in the middle you're going to put your cherry tomatoes along the outside you're going to put um some garlic i cut up five cloves but that's because i really like garlic um and i don't plan on making that with anybody so we're good we're good so then um you're going to cut that up and you can even use garlic powder if you use garlic powder only use like i maybe a tablespoon or so and put that on there um, and then you're gonna put some olive oil on there um, maybe about I don't know um, two or three tablespoons of olive oil on top you're gonna put it in the uh, 450 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes you're gonna take it out you're gonna mix it all together then you're gonna take your pan you're going to cook up your chicken I marinated mine in Italian dressing you don't have to do that um, but you can, it tastes good. Um, you cook that in your pan, then you add your noodles. You add your noodles last because if you do not, they will become mushy and you don't want mushy noodles. And you can use zucchini noodles or like I did and use butternut squash noodles. Um, and yeah, then you mix your tomato feta bake um, with your noodles and your chicken. You can either put that in the Pyrex dish and mix it together that way or you can just pour it all in your frying pan with your chicken and your noodles and just mix it around that way and eat it um, and then there you go Bob's your uncle there's your dinner go team go and if you're using pasta then you can cook up your chicken separately make your feta bake the same way um, and then just cook pasta on the side and throw pasta in there and mix it all together put a little bit of the pasta water in there to thicken it all up but yeah so that's it. That's Bob. That's it. That Bob's your uncle. It's done. 